Hello, and welcome to a new game that's, you know, not new, but new to me at least. Let's back, back off the volume. This music this is very loud. This is fine. This is Return of the Obra Dinn, which I guess you can also read that on the screen right now. It's a game uh, by Lucas Pope, released in 2018, I believe it was. Also recommended to me, oh man, twice. Once in a YouTube comment by someone whose name I definitely don't remember. No, I have no idea. I don't think it was someone who comments regularly, though. But definitely once in a YouTube comment. And once in an email, I remember, from the Advent Calendar in 2018. <laughs> By... Oh, I remember the last name. But the first name doesn't... It escapes me. Cook is the last name. <laughs> it's not James Cook, obviously. But it's it's like a it's a normal name, a very common name. James? No, it's not James. It doesn't start with a J. D David? David Cook? Is there is there someone watching named David Cook? If so, you recommended this. Well, maybe you know it could be a different. It's not that rare of a name probably. There are probably a few David Cooks out there. Anyway, I think that was your name. I should have looked it up. Really, I didn't though. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, back in, yeah, 2018, it was recommended. Now we're, we're getting to it, we're playing it. It's been on the list since then. I don't really know much about this. There's like a mature mature content warning thing. So, I don't know. <laughs> I, you know, the the graphic style is not going to be very graphic. I'm, I'm pretty sure, whatever it is. But just be warned, I guess, if you're worried about that kind of stuff. Anyway. Sure. I also don't really know what we're doing as a ship, that's all I really know. <laughs> Lost at Sea, 1803, the good ship Oberdin, built 1796, London, 800 tons, 18 feet, feet draught. Captain R. Witterell, crew 51 men, last voyage to Orient, Cape Onovu, unmet. Contact East India, London office for... In Enquiries <laughs> and or testimony, sure, yes. I hope I'm not gonna have to read a lot because I'm bad reading today. <laughs> the Honorable East India Company, attention, Chief Inspector, Insurance and Claims, London Office. The Oberdin has returned to dispatch to Falmouth. Yeah, that's what that reads, right? Immediately and prepare for assessment. Is that me? I'm assessing. I'm the, I'm, I'm the chief inspector of the insurance and, and claims London office, maybe. <laughs> Falmouth, England, 1807. Yes. Not many eager for that job. Yeah, it will be fine. Seems a bit late if you ask. I didn't. <laughs> What's in the box? I don't know. Hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! Ow! Carefully. <laughs> That's a good answer. Alright. Alright, so I'm getting on the ship. Does my, my arm, my hand? Sure. Just one click is enough. <laughs> Climbing all the way up, very good. This looks really weird. I think the recommendation also said that it might not be good for video, but that sounds like I definitely should do it as a YouTube series then to me. I can't help it. Anyway. This is neat. What happened here? Are you hoisting up my box carefully? Because I'm not sure what I'm doing otherwise. Okay. What am I looking at? Something sparkling out at sea. Can we go there? It's too heavy! 
Okay, do I need to help you? Is there like a rope or something I can like use? I don't know how I interact yet with things in the world. I don't know if there's like a... I mean like my arm goes out when I get near something I can interact with like this, I assume. But I'm not sure that that's true for everything or just like this ladder specifically. Yeah, yeah, I heard you the first time. How rude. So how do I lift it then? This doesn't seem like the right move. But we're learning. I have no idea what I'm doing yet, so... It's too heavy. Take it yourself or open it here. Okay, what do we get? The book? Why do I not know what's in the box? Or was that a lie? Did I know what was in the box? Okay. A catalog of adventure and tragedy. Preface. I trust that you now find yourself aboard the Obra Din. I expect this day to come, and my every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of this book. Regrettably, failing health has allowed me... Uh, to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your presence on the Obra Din is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. I only have one hand so far, I've not seen the other one. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. <laughs> I very much doubt that. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone aboard. That's usually not what pocket watches do though. Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed host to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. Okay. I possess the details within, but have elected to keep them private for now. Henry Evans. Alright, this is a long book. <laughs> okay, so the Atlantic leg of the Far East route. Or route, depending on... What kind of English you speak, I guess. The ship. Deck brands of the Obra Din. The crew. Complete crew and passenger manifest. That's not complete though, we're 51, or can I like... Oh, I can look at it like this, that's weird. Robert Wit Witter Witterell, okay, the captain, yes, we read that before. William Hoscutt? I don't know. Edward Nichols, Martin Parrott, John Davies, Alfred Kleestil, from Austria, I was gonna say, <laughs> former former president of Austria, well, not Alfred, but Kleestil still, uh, Charles Minor, Henry Evans, James Waters, Winston Smith, Marcus Gibbs, Thomas Sefton. I don't know, how do you say... <laughs> I would, I would say Emil, but that's not how you say it in English, probably. Is it Emile? Do you say Emile? That sounds weird, though. <laughs> oh, Farrell, Christian Worf. Worf. No, oh, he's German. Well, the name is German. He's Austrian, so it's Worf. Orus? Vieta? I have no idea. That doesn't sound Polish. <laughs> Duncan McKay. Finley Dorton. Edward Spratt. Abigail Hoskett Vitrol. Wait. So, Robert Witt Witterell, William Hoscott, captain and first mate, and then we have an Abigail Hoscott Witterell from Scotland. How does that work? <laughs> anyway, Nuncio Pasqua, sure, Emily Jackson, Miss Chain Bird, I don't know, Bubunlan Lim, It Bings Ya. Xiu Tan, Hoxeng Lao, Tsungi Zati, I don't know, <laughs> Philip Dar, Paul Moss, Samuel Galligan. I shouldn't probably read all of these, but it's interesting to me somehow. <laughs> Roderick Anderson, Davy, David James, <laughs> Peter Milroy, Thomas Lenke, Lenke, Lenk, could be, you know, there's just lots of ways to say that. <laughs> Charles Hershtick. Umit. Is that 
Gur? I don't know. Dimothy. But it is Scottish. <laughs> Putament? Putament? <laughs> I have no idea. Wang Li. Chi Shang. Li Hong. Wai Li. Nicholas Botterell. Maybe related to former Sabres GM Jason Botterell. Who knows? Maba. Louis Walker. Leonid Volkov. Alakus Nikishin. Nikish Nikishin? Yeah. <laughs> Alexei Toporov. Nathan Peters. Lars Linde. John Napers. Renfred Rajub? I have no idea. Abraham Akbar. William Wasim? Maybe. Solomon Siet. <laughs> Hamadou Dion. Sure, sure, sure. Henry Brennan, Alexander Booth, Patrick O'Hagan, George Shirley, and Samuel Peters. And we can maybe write something down there if we learn something about them, possibly. So can I also look at these things enlarged? Because that's not usually how books work. <laughs> so that didn't occur to me. This is Europe, it's true. This is Africa. Canary Islands. So we were, we were setting sail uh, up here and sailing down. Where did we? I don't know what what's there. What's what's down there on the coast? I mean, it's like Cornwall down here, right? But like, I don't know whatever. Madeira, Canary Islands, Cap Verde. Okay, score wheel is really slow. This is much faster. And then we were supposed to go down to South Africa, I guess. Sure. And then the ship, starboard walk, that's where I am. Surgery crew, carpenter's shop, in the oil up deck. And then on the in the cargo hoard, lazarette, the passenger cargo. Bosun's store, captain's cargo. Okay. And then the gun deck, second mate, fourth mate, Bosun. Or that's, I don't know. <laughs> First mate, third mate, stewards, midshipmen, okay. And then the main deck, captain's quarters, passengers' cabins. Looks weird, looks weird. I don't know how useful all of this is. Sketches of life aboard the old Inn. Oh, we can like... This is really weird. For Mosin royalty. Justice at sea. Hmm. <laughs> this doesn't look great. <laughs> this looks better, you know. Dancing and, you know, music. Loose cargo. On the cargo deck, okay. A bit of cold. So we need to fill all this in. Murder. Lots of murder. The calling. Lots of calling. <laughs> Unholy captives. Soldiers of the sea. So we have to fill all this in. The doom. Bargain. So it will remain unknown until you leave the ship and return the book to me. How's that work? It's very magic. Escape? How many chapters were there? <laughs> the end okay what's the, what's that yeah <laughs> boatswain <laughs> bosun <laughs> bosun I guess foreman in charge of general crew operations and equipment required to sail the ship what's a purser administrative Official accounts for our cargo value and trade transactions manages a small item store for crew. Okay. Surgeon was a surgeon. <laughs> Ship stalker, sure, that makes sense. Uh what's a midshipman? Officer and training, assists various officers. yeah, like midships and so not not you know yeah, in between, that makes sense. In the middle. <laughs> middle management. Uh, assists various officers and tradesmen in order to learn ship operations, usually of privileged status, yes. What's an oil up deck? Mid deck, above the lowest deck, containing storage cabins and pens, and the ship's steering attila. Sure, 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 sure. 
What's this? Doesn't seem good. Tab open close book and Q to get to the table of contents. All right. You think this guy is like concerned that I'm like reading a whole book in front of him? <laughs> Remember that, yes. Got everything? This is really interesting to play so far, even though we've done nothing. <laughs> but the horse setup is just intriguing to me. Are you gonna leave me here now? No, you have to stay, right? Because I can't leave without you. Where am I even? We just rode out here on, you know, on the rowboat and now we're here to the re-emerged ship that was lost at sea. So how do I use my pocket watch thing? Mutiny. They were trying to break into the captain's quarters, and the captain shot the, that first guy. This guy. And the other guy had a Scottish accent. But what do I learn here? Do I need to learn something? Does this get like filled in now? Can I figure out who this is and then write down? Murder. I mean, okay, this is where we're supposed to start with that. But like, what do we, do we not like fill anything in right here right now? fate because I don't know who that is so I can't fill it in because I don't know who that is so I need to learn who that is first and then I can fill in the fate I guess but I have no idea who that is oh and then now my pocket watch thing ends and I'm back in the present I assume oh now we open the book Okay, maybe I do... I don't know how this works. <laughs> okay, outside the captain's quarters. Location of the corpse. Three others were present. I only saw... <laughs> Both three people told. Who is this? How did they die? Captain. This unknown soul met an unknown fate. This person's face appears prior throughout the book. The spraying indicates that you don't yet have a sufficient have sufficient information to determine their identity. Unknown fate. The fate may be may be known and can be entered now. Trying to name them while their face is blurred would be unproductive. Carry on, pay attention. Faces will become unblurred when the information necessary to identify them has been revealed in some way. Okay, and then I have that one memory to click here. Okay, I see. Captain, open the door, kick it in, lest you break it down and take more than those shells. Your passes may take exactly what I give you. Okay. Three others were present. Unknown. But your face is not blur, so I couldn't name you now, because you're the captain. Is that true? <laughs> I mean, you also have the captain's hat. You are the captain. This person's face is no longer blurred, which means that they can now be identified. I forgot the name, though. 
Use the book and the pocket watch to get enough information to deduce their identity. Revisit memories on the ship using the pocket watch to study relationships, appearances, and activities. Use the book maps. Crew manifests and artist sketches pages two to four along with the individual conversation logs to find clues about. I forgot, but I don't know. There were 60 people on the ship when it left England. Determining everyone's identity and fate will not be easy. Decisive information is rare. You will have to make assumptions using partial information. Some identities may only be revealed through a process of elimination. Good luck. Okay, so we're getting tutorialization now, which is good. Can I change this later? <laughs> I can, so this is fine. We can just make assumptions like this anyway. But this has to be the captain because it's the only person we know. Was there and shot the guy. And he called him captain before he got shot, so that makes sense to me. Anyway. It's a good look. How do I get out of here, though? I can zoom in. So there's this person and this person. Is there three other people present? Oh, up here. Got a knife. That's really neat. Like you zoom in on the face and then the sketch appears and it just highlights the person on the sketch there. Uh, I mean, obviously still have no idea who that is. <laughs> oh, and then there's an exit door. Okay, I see. And we, so this guy, Guy with the hat, who's shooting the gun in the sketch with the hat on, is Scottish. I'm pretty sure. It sounded, he sounded very Scottish, at least to me. So that's information, I would say. All right, what happened to you? Are you the captain? Who got you? Was it the Scottish guy? Must be in here someplace. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. That's the captain. So that wasn't the captain. <laughs> Knife and mouth guys coming down here though. Sneaking around the back. Okay. Okay, so we have mouth knife and is this hat guy? This is hat guy. He didn't sound Scottish, did, but was this guy the Scottish guy then? I guess it was not clear who was speaking at first, maybe? Could have been the other way around. I just assumed, it. yeah, I made assumptions. Which I'm supposed to, the game told me to, but yeah, this is gonna be interesting. It's still blurry. So we have no information. Which seems right. Two others were present. Where are they? Must be in here someplace. They are at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. There were some shells. Or maybe something more. And then they both got killed. <laughs> Two others were present. The, the captain, obviously. And, and Mr. Knife and Mouth guy. Who's up here? Okay. This is gonna take a while, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't look how long it would take to beat it. All right, are you the captain or are you, are you knife mouth? 
Mouth knife. Okay, you stabbed cap the captain and then the captain hit you in the head with... Where do you get that stick? <laughs> that spear? Whatever it is. So the captain got stabbed in the side? That seems like a bad place to stab someone. You're stabbing them from behind. And then you go hit in the head. That's tough. Yeah, we know that as hat guy. Why does someone else here? Okay. You don't... You don't look great. So the, you know... The mature content so far at least like you know it's all just static images of that means murder scenes so you know <laughs> but yeah i guess that's what we're dealing with okay this is knife mouth guy mouth knife knife mouth i don't know what i like more <laughs> one other person was present and it is the captain again so that that person in the bed is no other person at that point in time so they already died as well okay and there was no dialogue it was just heavy breathing and gurgling and that kind of stuff so is the door always there probably not but maybe Are you the captain then? Abigail, your brother, my friend. I shot him. Okay. Dead. I'll be with you soon, my love. Okay, so that's Abigail in the bed, and the guy he shot is the Please first mate forgive me or something for everything okay that's rough so that's abigail and then that's abigail's brother hat guy Next to the captain. Wait, what did, sh did something show up there? I don't know. Because he's the only one that got shot. There was like a, you know, a cutthroat and a head wound, <laughs> let's say. But only one, one shot today. So I need to spend this amount of time every time and then I can go through the door. Is that how it works? Okay, he did not meet an unknown fate. Suicide, I guess, is the best. Uh, with a gun. This may or may not be correct. <laughs> because I don't get feedback, so I can guess stuff. Fates are validated in sets of three. Okay. So we do get validation, but not for every single one. Correctly identify at least three people in their fates to have the information typeset into the book. All right, that's good. No one else was present. That is also good. So we don't have any other leads to follow up. But that means that the crew 
Where's Abigail? Ab Abigail Hoskat Vitral was married to the captain, but is the sister of William Hoskat, who is the first mate who got shot by the captain there. Can I do that from here somehow? Tap open book. Open the book while examining a face to flip directly to the sketch. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> but thank you. So yeah. Oh, but now we can do this. William Hoskott, first mate. Who was shot by a gun. By the captain. Wait, was that face not blurred? <laughs> How do I have enough information to guess your role or your name? What? <laughs> that doesn't seem right to me. How would that work? This, yeah, this makes sense. This is Abigail. We know that already. But how do we know enough to know who this is? Huh. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm confused by that, actually. Anyway. We could have entered the name for Abigail there too, I guess. What? One, two, three, four? What does that mean? Okay, so the end took place here. How do we end up here? We must have turned around somewhere. What does it mean for me, though? Oh, I got four. Okay, that's everything. That's the whole end. Okay. So that's that's the very end. Those were the last few people. Okay. So this is hat guy, and then this is knife mouth knife guy, who's blurry here though. So that wasn't mouth knife <laughs> in the sketch, I guess. Huh? What happened to you? doesn't look good. <laughs> so this is Abigail. This... is this Martin? That's the persons you must have been talking to. No idea who these people are. But they are here. At least like mother and daughter, maybe. Why would you run out when there's like a, you know, giant sea monster attacking? Stay, stay indoors. So that wasn't the end, that was the doom. 
that makes sense. Ten out of so many people are there. Okay, who is this? This is Abigail. Who was... Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Clubbed? Not really, it's not a club. Was he crushed? Crushed by the mast? Or the rigging? Is that rigging? I don't know. She didn't fall, she didn't freeze. She wasn't ill. I mean, maybe she was, but I didn't kill her. <laughs> killed. Just killed. Struck? Hooves, tail, wing. Hooves? <laughs> Oh, there are animals on board, right? Wing, though. <laughs> Strangled, spiked, speared, short, poisoned. Knifed, killed, illness, froze, fell, exploded, expired, electrocuted, eaten. Drowned, decapitated, crushed, clubbed, clawed, burned, axed, alive. It's not alive. Crushed by, by the rigging or something. <laughs> Well done. Three fates correct. I did it. Okay, so these get transferred into the book properly now. And then that's progress. Here, this is our progress bar basically. Okay. Escape. Okay, that's fine. I should probably end this episode. Why am I shaking? Am I scared of the sea monster? Come on. It's not that scary. So who are you? On the thing. You're a hat guy next to the captain. Okay. Can I... You're this guy. You're Martin. Presumably. Parrot. Space action. What kind of action is that though? deeper here? No, I'm going back out. Oh, it's like pointing me to go. What? Oh, and I click to release and then I can follow this. Oh, and then this shows up. <laughs> That's gruesome. But I guess it wants me to go there next. Okay. I don't know who you are, though. Don't know who you are, don't know who you are. You didn't really give me much, much info there. I have enough information, you're not... No, is that blurry? I can't tell if that's blurry or not. I have no idea who you are, though. Wait, where, where on the sketch is that even? I don't know. Are you throwing or catching the gun? You're throwing it to this guy. Is that correct? Maybe.
your face is not blurry. There was no text though. How do I know who that is? I mean, like the tattoos, maybe? Is that like the hint? Is that enough? <laughs> I don't know. That doesn't seem right to me. I don't wanna, I don't wanna guess. We're shaking again. Does that, does that mean? Oh, I can, I can hit space again and then? Pick you, I guess? I'm not quite sure how that works now. Did I kick? And this takes me... I mean, over here. That's where we... No? Yes? Come on. Yeah. Oh, because those, like, we're at the end of the ship, like, on the, at the, the setting on the ship is obviously the end, and this has happened before, so the corpses are gone, so we need to, like, make them reappear from that one memory. Right, so the Abigail's death ties us to that previous time, and then from there we can go into other memories. Right, it makes sense, of course, because we can't find these corpses, because we were seeing them already, and we were on, on the top of the ship. Who, who should hold on? Say their name, their full name. <laughs> Do it. That looks kind of crazy. This is wild. It's such a neat idea for a game. I still don't know how I'm supposed to know who this is already. But I am supposed to. Okay. Like. I don't know, I don't know. Who would have the tools like that? <laughs> Can we just... I don't know how we would... It doesn't make sense. To guess on that, based on that alone. Yeah, I don't know. Like, but it's not blurred quite clearly. <laughs> These are still blurry, or we already solved them. But wait, I can know who you are? <laughs> How? I've only seen them like standing there. I guess there are not that many women, maybe, but still. I think that's mean. <laughs> anyway. Emily Jackson, Miss Jane Bird. Anyway. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't know. We'll worry about that next time, I guess. We'll have to end this episode, yeah. Do I want to go deeper here? I don't think I do. I want to go back out and see what we can do from there, maybe. If anything. I always just go back in, but I want to end not in here because it's confusing. All right, and then the things that, yeah, the memories we create, they, stay, they remain anyway. That's good. It's just kind of weird that I can't go like, like, wait, I can open doors. There's nothing in here. Still really wanna know what that is. Who closed the door? It's a ghost on this ship closing doors behind me. But I can't open this door, so I can open some doors, but not just any door. I mean, this is really interesting. <laughs> it's a really... weird setup for game. Okay, I can go below deck here. And there's some stuff. It's just this thing in the way, what's going on? I'm like pouring and it's not opening. These are locked, I guess. So you have to find a key for them. Interesting. Or we could use a cannon, I guess. Yeah, there's a memory here. Can we just walk over that? Yes. Don't mind me. Okay. We should really end it now. I'm just, I'm, I'm you know, I want to know more. I want to learn more fates and uh, more plot, more story, and more details, more everything. I want the book. I don't like that the doors close behind me. It's very annoying. Can we like open this from below? No. Hmm. <laughs> Wonder what happened there. Can you actually even obtain like physical items like a key in this? I mean, you do have the book and the pocket watch, so we do have like the ability to, you know, have items, but I don't know if we can pick up more stuff. It doesn't really feel like there's an inventory or anything. Anyway, that's it for today. That's it for the first episode of Return of the Overden, which is very interesting in a good way. I don't know. I want to know so badly what that is. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, we'll find out more next time. It's gonna take a while though. <laughs> it's definitely gonna take a while. Even if we can keep up the pace of doing three per episode, three fates, <laughs> you know, sixty people. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's it for for now. I'll see you. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.